going back to Doom 3. Now we're left off. Here at the UAC, we make the world a better Okay. Good. Oh. Well, that was the body being dragged up there, man. Like to see that someone having a nice meal and Broadcasting on a very low frequency. If you can hear me, I'm not far. Please help me. I've locked myself in storage room C4. Please, if anyone can hear me, please help me. C4.
Ontario report regarding the disrespectful treatment of new research staff. September 14, 2025. As you know, I have gone to considerable effort to recruit my staff researchers for Ontario. Finding team members with the qualifications, let alone the willingness to come to Mars, has not been a trivial task. You know this already. But it is necessary that I emphasize why their complaints must be taken seriously. We won't be able to keep our people or recruit new researchers if the harassment continues. No, harassment is exactly the right word. I'm routinely getting reports of UAC security asking inappropriate questions and submitting my staff to unnecessary background checks. I must insist that we be allowed to keep our personal lives private and be left to complete our assignments without further delays. Hmm. If there is some kind of security threat, I suggest that UAC security look more deeply into their own staff. This is Andrew Chin, and... Hmm. It sounds like I can barely even hear you know, at times, but... Again, I mean, I'm just gonna go do it. Maybe that's just me. Since the dawn of the space age, Union Aerospace has been at the forefront of not only developing new technology, but pushing those developments to even more daring extremes. With an abundant production of hydrogen fuel, thanks to the hydrocon, the specialist teams ask the big question. Can we devise a way to store and deliver that fuel to make the dream of deep space mm -hmm. research a reality? The answer has been a resounding yes. Under the direction of Dr. Nelson Batruga, key UAC scientists have made startling new discoveries in the fields of quantum physics. And with them, they have been able to use the actual space between electrons and protons in a molecule as a storage medium for fuel in our interplanetary antimatter drives. Now, fuel that would once take up half the payload of an interplanetary ship only occupies a fraction of that space. You are looking at the Molecular Fuel Storage Compactor. The MFS Compressor is yet another UAC marvel that brings the dream of reaching and colonizing the most distant planets closer to a reality. The UAC has long made safer worlds for everyone, and now they will bring those worlds even closer than you could ever imagine. Well, I'm glad to hear about that. Let's go! Oh, there they are. One, two, three. Reports they've located your position but are unable to move to your current location. Head through engineering and try to link up with them in sector three. Sure, sure, I'm on my way, boss.
so because they might be fast, but they're not uh, all that tough. It seems to pose more, more of a bigger challenge at times, but hey, can't dub on that, yeah. you through here if you can get me off this base. Come on, I can't wait. Shit. <laughs> okay, good. Electromagnetic pulses have knocked out the electrical systems in this area. Watch out, a big one could knock out our lights.
Alpha Lab Sector 3 contains secondary cooling control systems for molecular storage compactor waste material from the MFS system and also produced here and sent to recycling plant for pellet refinement.